Hi, I'm Bob Dopkin. Back when I started in the industry, everything was made out of discrete transistors, and the schematic diagrams were in the back of any kind of instrumentation that was sold. So you could look at these schematics and figure out how they worked and understand the analog circuitry in them. Now everything's made with ICs. So you don't get the transistor level experience of understanding analog circuits, but you do understand uh, how to apply the ICs. My knowledge came from looking at circuits, and I was exposed to many of them, I'm lucky that way, and understanding how they worked. Now, those circuits aren't in the instrumentation, so where do you find circuitry to look at? Well, there's a lot of circuitry and application notes from many of the IC manufacturers. And having the circuitry in front of you with an explanation of how it works so you understand it and you can duplicate it or use it in your circuits is probably one of the best ways to learn analog design. And really, to understand analog design, you've got to understand it at an intuitive level. You don't have time to write equations, figure out what's going on that way. You have to be able to look at it, understand it, because the pieces of the circuit are part of your analog language.